Eh, kumusta naman kayo? Okay lang. Hi, Jenny. Paglalabas po kayo, ano, magmas kayo. Pahirap po nang pahirap po. Saka huwag kayo lalabas ng lalabas. Malay nyo, may nakawaan kayo isang taong may COVID. May pit na pong bata sa amin. Lockdown na po kami sa Santa Cruz ngayon. Bawal na po lumabas. How about you, Jenny? <laughs> Okay, so it's the 11th day of this enhanced community quarantine and um, I don't know if anxiety is hitting us but uh, it's getting sadder actually but um, you know uh, ganun naman talaga and you are in a lockdown well it's sad because uh, you want everything to be fixed already uh, sana matapos na lahat ito by the way all of the establishments here in our town except mga uh, butika ay sarado po ngayon because of this uh, town-wide disinfection na magtatagal daw hanggang bukas bigla-bigla yung anunsyo ng munisipyo na magsasara, pinasasara lahat ultimo mga groceries and supermarkets kaya yung mga iba ay maunti ang stock sa bahay hindi nakapamili and uh, that's a bit unwise for a decision because hindi naman ganun ka-effective ang disinfection talaga just because of that one PUI that we had admitted noong nakaraan sa Laguna Doctors nagkaroon ng ganitong lockdown sa mga supermarkets ang daming walang napamili ang daming nagre-reklamo eh, walang mabilhan ng pagkain ngayon for two days so that's very unwise for our municipal government but uh, still, I know that they're doing their part. Pero yun nga, parang bigla-bigla hindi tama yung naging desisyon itong, itong well, yung kahapon. Well, sa ngayon, it's a Friday. Dumadami na yung kaso. The U.S. has, uh, well, overtook China for, the, for having the highest numbers of cases because they're testing really well. At ang Italy, Spain, na andyan sila sa top 5. Lahat sana ay gumaling. But uh, we just have to be, you know, more vigilant. We just have to stick with what the government says. Tayo po ay laging tumigil lang sa bahay muna kung wala naman kayong gagawin. So, sana po patuloy na maging maayos na ang lahat. And uh, up until the 30th day of the quarantine, sana improved na ang condition natin dito. So, see you tomorrow. Alright, so it's day day 12 of this enhanced community quarantine I'm here at the supermarket and after the two day uh, closure of all the establishments in Santa Cruz ito po ang bumubulaga sa amin ngayon sobrang daming tao nabaliwala ang disinfection and that's what well I, I had it well I, I've seen it coming sinabi ko yun sa Facebook page ng munisipyo na dadagsa ang tao at mawawala ang social distancing and true enough Sobrang dami sa palengke Sobrang dami tao sa palengke Supermarket Ang pila hanggang labas So what do you expect? Diba? You, you, you give the virus more reservoir Para kumala And uh, this is not safe This is not safe And the thing is They're planning to close all the establishments again tomorrow Tapos sa lunes bubuksan uli Asa ka Sobrang dami na naman tao sa lunes and you are just propagating the virus. And that's a very, very poor decision from the municipality of Santa Cruz. Very, very unwise for a for, uh, decision uh, from them. But, um, well, sana sa mga susunod na araw, umayos na. But uh, what they did in the past days did not help dito sa situation natin. Okay? 
So for now, there are 803 cases of COVID-19 here in the country. 20 are from Laguna. Laguna is now considered a hot spot for COVID. And uh, we are getting the numbers, but we hope that uh, we pa rin natin ito. I think we are more disciplined than, uh, than the other countries. But we just need to do more testing. Okay? So I'm just waiting for my sister. She's buying something here in the market. I, I don't want to risk myself. Um, na bumaba pa rin pero yung ate ko naman na andito lang sa Bukana one thing that I have noticed also ang dami senior citizen I thought 18 to 50 lang ang pwedeng mamili pero ba't may mga nakakalabas po ng mga lolo at lola dito so ayun ako ewan ko na lang bukas na lang hi so it's day 13 of this enhanced community quarantine and it's a Sunday March 29 um, well, uh, siguro quick update lang, lumobo na po sa 1,075 cases ang uh, COVID-19 patients here in the country with uh, 68 mortalities and 35 new recoveries. So, sana po matapos na lahat ng ito, well, the anxiety is beginning to kick in. But, uh, you know, mawawala na rin naman ito sa mga susunod na linggo if we will just follow uh, what is being advised to us. So, we just have to stay at home, uh, gawin yung mga dapat gawin, yung social distancing, you know, ganun pa rin. Uh, tayo ipatuloy na maging malinis sa ating katawan. We just have to pray. So, it's a Sunday. Kanina, ako po inanood ng online worship service sa aming simbahan. And um, wala na mga ganyang congregation at gathering ngayon every Sunday. So, sa ngayon, pakita ko muna sa inyo kung gano katahimik dito sa lugar po namin. So, tahimik na tahimik. Diyan nagpa-practice mag-basketball si Kuya Vivo. Dapat kung bakasyon na ngayon, mag-start na yung kanyang basketball clinic. Pero, hindi nga natuloy. So, pakita ko lang ng konti yung labas. So, mag-ingat sa mga hinahawakan. Every time na may hinahawakan kayo na bagay sa labas, pag uwi sa bahay, linisin mabuti ang kamay. So, ayan. Walang masyadong dumadaang sa sakit. Well, I'm not... Uh, out of the house ito ipatin pa rin ang lote namin bayad po ito kaya private property pa rin po ito ito yung lote ng aming kapitbahay na in-check tahimik na tahimik so I'll see you tomorrow guys Hi guys, so it's day 14 of this enhanced community quarantine. It's a Monday, March 30, 2020. So, I'm off to a clinical duty today. So, magpapaka-flight liner tayo ngayon. Just an update, lumobo na sa so 1418 ang kaso ng COVID-19 dito sa bansa with 71 mortalities and 42 with COVID-19. Sana po... Uh, magtuloy-tuloy yung testing so that we can identify the patients and ma-isolate na ng maayos. Dito sa Laguna, we have 33 new cases. There's one in Nagkarlan already. Meron na rin sa Pile, mga karatig bayan namin. But I hope our town, Santa Cruz, will remain COVID-free. So I'm off to work and uh, well, uh, malapit na matapos tong ating quarantine in Halfway, we are halfway through this enhanced community quarantine Pero parang ano to, may extend So, tingnan natin sa mga susunod na araw And, uh, Well, we all have to stay safe Hand washing, social distancing 
um, coffee, coffee etiquette and uh, sana lagi kayong ano, uh, maging alerto ng hindi nagpapali. Okay, so I get to see lots of patients through messenger na medyo nagkakaroon na ng mga anxiety problem and it's a uh, given because yung mga ganitong klaseng lockdown ay eh, talagang medyo nakakapag-isip sa atin yan. Um, well, ako nagkaka medyo anxious na rin ako ng konti but I am uh, totally fine. I can handle myself. As long as you know, you know the drills pagdating sa mga ganitong bagay and uh, you know how to protect yourself. So, samahan niyo po ako sa susunod na araw. So it's the 31st day of March and it's the last day for this month and it is the 15th day of this enhanced community quarantine Luzon wide and uh, so far uh, medyo nasasanay na kami do sa usual routine ako kasi I go out pa rin naman minsan may mga pasyente ako hino home visit but um, sa ngayon, pumunta kami ng palengke kanina at iba na naman po ang patakaran sa palengke. You have to undergo this disinfection uh, booth ba bago ka makapasok. At uh, napapansin ko, hindi magaganda ang tinda sa palengke, hindi ng mga sariwa. Pero sa supermarket, mas advisable na pumunta. As an update, we have 1,546 cases of COVID-19 here in the country with uh, 120 plus new cases, uh, more mortalities than deaths. Pero in comparison naman doon sa nakaraan tatlong araw, medyo nagkaroon ng pagbaba ng, ng bilang ng mga positive cases despite the continuous and uh, more testings that are being done by uh, DOH or RITM. So it's in a way, it's a good news. Talaga naman lolobo pa ito sa mga susunod na na buwan o na linggo, huwag naman buwan pero sana ma-flatten na natin yung curve. If you get to see the the speech of our president last night na dapat 4pm ay eh, nagsimula lang ng alas 11 well, wala akong makuha. Wala akong nakuhang reassurance from him. Uh, I hope that the president will be in the perfect thinking in mind para ma-reassure niya yung mga tao kung ano talaga yung malinaw na plano ng gobyerno para masugpo na itong COVID-19. Here in the province, we have more cases. I think as of last night, there are 39. Pero ngayong umaga, meron ng mga ano yun, may positive na sa my high, additional cases in Binyan, as well as in Calamba, nasa 40 plus na rin. But uh, Laguna, as of March 28, is in total lockdown. So, hintayin na lang natin. But Santa Cruz, salamat sa Diyos dahil negative pa rin po kami. And another good news, yung Laguna doctors, all of the staff that has been exposed to a COVID-19 patient from Lumban, they, they are, well, tested negative sila. So, congrats at sana panatuliin natin COVID-19 ng Santa Cruz. And um, this is a, the 15th day. We are halfway through this uh, quarantine. Matatapos din po ito. Well, mat matatiling mag uh, may pananalig sa Diyos, magdasal, maghugas ng kamay, and uh, just be with your family. 
Uh, alam ko maraming teachings tong COVID-19. Enumerate natin yan sa mga susunod na araw. Mag-ingat po kayo and bye-bye. God bless. See you in the next vlog.